When controlled feeding from or into silos and hoppers in a very confined space is required, rotary valves are the ideal solution. The sealing of negative pressure cyclone and dust filter outlets is the other classic application. Rotary valves consist of a tubular casing, a horizontally mounted rotor with a certain number of V-shaped cross-section compartments, a drive unit, and a casing cover opposite the drive end. Two compartments at a time of the continuously turning rotor are filled up with material through the infeed opening at the top of the rotary valve. After less than half a turn, the material falls through the outlet port with the same cross-section opposite the inlet. Torix's rotary valves can handle any kind of powder and granular material up to a particle size of 8 mm. For handling of non-contaminating products, casing and covers are made of cast iron, the rotor of grey iron or steel. Abrasive products require chromium or nickel-plated cast iron casings and covers and steel or cast iron rotors with scrapers from Volcolan. Valves for corrosive products come with casings, covers and rotor made from chromium or nickel-plated cast iron. Additionally, versions with Teflon-coated contact parts and food-grade versions entirely made of stainless steel are available on request. According to the material handled, Rotors can be equipped with removable synthetic inserts to reduce the feed rate or to handle particularly sticky materials and with scrapers made from Volcolan, Viton, Teflon or spring steel. WAM Group members, Torex's rotary valve range meets every user's requirements. In the version with a standard rotor, they achieve the following feed rates. With fixed direct drive, installed drive power ranges from 0.5 to 1.5 kilowatt. With pre-torque, from 0.37 to 0.75 kilowatt. And with variable speed drive, from 0.37 to 0.75 kilowatt. In comparison with other feeding devices, RV-type rotary valves boast a few substantial advantages. Space-saving. Sturdy. Various materials and treatments available according to product handled. Direct mounted drive without coupling. Inlet and outlet flanges to WAM standards. Scrapers made from different materials to improve sealing properties. Compartment inserts for sticky materials or feed rate reduction. Air perch shaft seals at both ends. Rotation sensors. Electric motors according to NEMA standards. Forced ventilation motors for cycle inverter control. The M-type pinch valves are used to intercept material flow in pneumatic conveying or other pipes. In addition, they are installed as a locking device for silo filling pipes. In the open position, the internal cross-section of the valve is identical with a connecting pipe diameter. By introducing compressed air, or especially with small valves, water under pressure through the threaded bore into the valve, the internal flexible sleeve is reshaped in such a way that the passage is hermetically sealed. Torex's pinch valves equally handle pneumatically conveyed powders, granules, fibers, dense mixtures and liquids.
The valve body of each model is made of aluminium alloy. Sleeves are made of various types of fabric reinforced materials according to the product handled. The sleeve support bushes are either made from carbonitrided alloy steel or from stainless steel 304 or 316. While maximum working pressure must not be greater than 4 bar, maximum inflation pressure is 6 bar. As a result, the maximum pressure differential according to the type of sleeve is 2 bar. The VM valve range stands out due to a variety of sizes. The internal cross section ranges from a minimum of 13 to a maximum of 200 millimeters. The most significant applications of VM type pinch valves are all kinds of bulk materials that can be handled by pneumatic conveying systems chocolate powder and hazelnuts in the food industry, paints and fertilizers in the chemical industry, effluents and lime milk in wastewater treatment plants, alkali and pastes for cooling water of tooling machinery, sand, gravel and plaster in the cement and concrete industry, as well as for cement, flour or animal feed transported in tankers. The M-type pinch valves offer the following advantages. Full bore through passage without any pressure loss. Suitable for systems and plants requiring explosion-proof line closure. No product contact with the body, apart from periodic replacement of the sleeve with certain products handled, no maintenance required. Low weight in comparison with other makes and other valves particularly low air consumption. Sleeve material suitable for the product handled. Different connection systems. Different bushes applicable for different products handled. The fact that the valves are mass produced guarantees an outstanding price performance ratio. A quality dedicated production layout gives the client the assurance that the equipment he is going to use has been checked and tested in each phase of the manufacturing process up to the shipping department. Quick delivery is guaranteed thanks to a large amount of stock of components and parts at the factory in Italy and at the WAM Group subsidiaries worldwide. During the following part of this video, please pay attention to the special safety notices. On receipt of the consignment, check that the goods are in conformity with the invoice and with the acknowledgement of order. Handle all material with care. Remove the equipment and its accessories from the packaging and from now on follow the supplied instruction manual for handling, assembly and installation. RV valves are supplied fully assembled. Ensure the inlet flange and if necessary also the outlet flange are firmly bolted to their connecting flanges. Also ensure that the gap in the casing cover points downwards. Before starting the rotary valve, please remember the following notices. Never put your hands inside the rotary valve while it's running. If the valve outlet is free, provide for a protection that impedes access to the moving parts. The electrical connection with the main supply must be carried out by qualified personnel only. Before any kind of repair or maintenance work, Disconnect the electric motor from the mains. Before electrical connection, ensure the electric motor plate data and the voltage supply match. Follow general safety instructions. 
check if foreign substances or water have entered the valve. If so, clean it. There should be no clearly perceptible friction between the valve rotor and the casing. Adjust scrapers, if supplied, for better sealing. Before adding material, start the empty valve and make sure it runs smoothly. Only then, add material and proceed with regular operation. The RV rotary valve cannot function in a standalone capacity. It is therefore prohibited to place it into service until the plant in which it is installed has been globally declared to conform with the requirements of the European General Safety Directive for machines. Remove the shaft sealing unit as shown in the following sequence. Remove and reassemble the rotor as shown in the following sequence. The M valves are supplied fully assembled. Ensure the inlet flange and, if necessary, also the outlet flange are firmly bolted to their connecting flanges. Ensure the control system is correctly set and connections are firmly fitted. Before starting the pinch valve, please remember the following notices. Never put your hands inside the pinch valve while it's working. If the valve outlet is free, provide for protection or clear warning signs. Do not expose parts of your body to the compressed air jet. Follow general safety instructions. Check if foreign substances have entered the valve. If so, clean it. Before adding material, start the empty valve and make sure it works smoothly. Only then, add material and proceed with regular operation. The VM pinch valve cannot function in a standalone capacity. It is therefore prohibited to place it into service until the plant in which it is installed has been globally declared to conform with the requirements of the European General Safety Directive for machines.
Remove the support bushes as shown in the following sequence.